Isn't it good to know, even in demanding times, even in this time of global unrest, we can trust in God. In Daniel chapter 6, we're reminded of the importance of trusting in God and the power that's available to us in that trust. It's the story of Daniel and the lion's den. Daniel was set up. He was bowing before God like he always did, but he was observed doing it, and because of a king's edict, he was thrown into a den of hungry lions. But in the morning, the king went to the den and cried out for Daniel. Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God, whom you serve continually, been able to deliver you from the lion's den? Then Daniel said to the king, O king, live forever. My God sent his angels to shut the lion's mouths so that they have not hurt me, because I was found innocent before him. And also, O king, I have done no wrong before you. Now the king was exceedingly glad for Daniel and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den and no injuries whatsoever were found on him because he believed in his God. Today, the adversities of the lion's den can come in many different ways forms. And God's people are not immune. In fact, oftentimes it seems the adversity of life is more severe, more frequent, even sometimes more unexplainable for those that follow Jesus. Many times when a storm comes suddenly upon us, like it did for Daniel, our tendency is to question, where is God in all this? Does God really show up and rescue those who are seeking him? Does God deliver those who call upon his name in the day of trouble? Can you, can I, can we really trust in God? And the answer to all those questions is a resounding yes. In times of adversity, confusion, even panic, we can absolutely trust in God. God has proven over and over again that he's trustworthy in any situation. He's completely in control. He's infinitely wise. And as scripture says, his love endures forever. So as we walk through this challenging time together, let me encourage you, trust in God. I believe he'll show up. And once again, he'll demonstrate that he is worthy of our trust.